This is question 19 from the 2008 non-calculator paper. Here we are asked to solve the simultaneous equations 2x plus 3y equals 0, x minus 3y equals 9. First thing that we're going to do is we want to try to isolate one of the unknown variables. At the moment we can't solve this because we've got two things that we don't know. If we've got just one thing that we don't know, so x's or y's, then we can solve this equation. So what we're going to do is, if I add these two equations together, if I add them together, what will happen is that these three y's will cancel each other out. So if I add 2x plus x, that's going to give me 3x. 3y plus minus 3y, well they cancel each other out. And then I'm left with 0 plus 9, that gives me 9. Now you can see here, all I've got now is a very simple, easy equation to solve. So divided both sides by 3, that's going to give me a first answer of x equals 3. So we found out what x is equal to. Now what I'm going to do with this x is I'm simply going to substitute it into this first equation at the top here. So what I end up with is, uh, so I've got 2x, so 2 lots of 3, that's going to give me 6 plus 3y and that is equal to 0. So solving this equation what I can then say is that 3y is equal to negative 6 and so then y must be equal to minus 6 divided by 3 negative 2. So x equals 3, y equals negative 2. Now what I can do just do is a quick check and you wouldn't get any extra marks for this, this is just for your own peace of mind when you're in the exam, you can do a little check. Now what I can do here is I can just substitute, I know what x is, I know what y is, and now if I substitute these into the equation that I didn't use for my substitution, these two values should still work. So let's test this, well x is 3, so we've got 3 minus, and then we've got minus 2 multiplied by 3 and that should equal 9 so let's check if that does actually equal 9 3 minus or minus 2 times by 3 is minus 6 does that equal 9 uh, in this case yes it does 3 minus minus 6 that gives us 9 so we know that our values for x and our value for y must be correct because it satisfies both of these equations.